Hello. Welcome to my Mod Spotlight series. We are focusing on Tinker's Construct Smeltery at this time. Uh, in the last video, we built the smeltery. As you can see here. Something that I forgot to mention in the last video is there are two recipes for making grout. One uses one clay lump, one sand, and one gravel, which makes two grout. The next one, at this, that's the one I showed you in the previous video. This one is the one I forgot to show, which is a block of clay, four sand, and four gravel, which produces eight grout. So there is, it's, it outputs the same amount of grout. There's no benefit to using one over the other. So back to the smeltery. Uh, like I said before, we, we built the smeltery in the previous video. If you didn't catch that, uh, please go back and watch that video. You'll see what we did, how many, uh, how much material we needed to build it. In this video, we're going to be going over how to smelt ores and the outputs that you will receive from smelting and how to cast some ingots. So the first thing we're going to want is a bucket. A bucket of lava. So if you don't have access to lava, you should find it. And if you don't have a, a bucket, I would recommend starting off with four iron ingots. That way you can craft you a bucket and you'll have one ingot left over. And the reason you need one ingot left over is that's how we're going to pour our cast. Okay, in order to pour a cast, you're going to need either molten, aluminum brass, or gold. Either one works. If you smelt three aluminum ores with one copper ore, you get eight aluminum brass ingots. If you smelt three aluminum ingots with one copper ingot, you get four aluminum brass ingots. I've already melted down two gold and enough uh, aluminum and copper to get me uh, eight aluminum brass ingots. Okay, so this is where your iron ingot comes in. You place it, right click it into your casting table and then right click your faucet. And we'll, we've got our ingot cast. We can also go ahead and do this one with gold in case you've gotten gold but no aluminum or copper. Or not enough aluminum and copper. I have that problem sometimes. You can see it makes the same exact thing. Okay. And then you just put your... Then you just put your ingot cast back into the casting table, right click, and you'll make an ore. I mean an ingot, not an ore. And you can see we got our aluminum brass ingot. It's very nice. Okay, and some recipes if you're interested. Of course, there's the aluminum brass. We've been over that. 310 ore. One copper ore makes eight bronze ingots. 310 ingots and one copper ingot will make four bronze ingots. Uh, then we have alumite. Two obsidians, two iron ore, five aluminum ores will make eight alumite ingots. Two obsidian, two iron ingots, and five aluminum ingots will make four alumite ingots. One ardite ore plus one cobalt ore will make two manulium ingots. And one ardite ingot and one cobalt ingot will make one manulium ingot. In order to smelt anything in the smeltery, you will need to add lava to your seared tank. It will hold, each tank will hold four buckets. Two, three, four. Then once you have your lava in, 
then you can simply take any materials you can even take uh, ingots or ores throw them in and they will begin smelting they give you a nice little progression bar over here <coughs> See, we're empty. Now, this will be enough for four aluminum brass ingots. Since we've already crafted them into ingots, they will produce the same amount that you put in. And that's all there is to it. I'd also like to let you know that you can smelt cobblestone, and you will get uh, for every 18. Cobblestone that you smelt, you'll get four seared brick, which is enough to make one seared bricks, or it will craft one seared stone, which is this guy here. So you either get four seared brick or one seared stone poured into a basin. If you pour it into a basin, you get the seared stone. If you pour it into an ingot cast, you get the seared brick. And remember four seared brick like this create a seared bricks. Which is this one. So the floor will make this. So that's a cheap way to increase its capacity. Each level will give you nine more slots. Okay. In the next video, we'll be uh, adding some automation so we can smelt some uh, cobblestone to get our smeltery up higher levels so we can smelt more items at the same time. So stay tuned for that 